You guys may recall what took place in Cuba as we had officials in Cuba that were getting sick, nauseous, and they were complaining about hearing this buzzing, the strange sound, and feeling a weirdness inside their head. This led to speculation that some kind of weapon was being used on officials in Cuba. This happened multiple times, and now we have a U.S. government employee suffering a brain injury after hearing an abnormal sound in China. They're saying that this U.S. government worker has reportedly suffered a mild brain injury after hearing this abnormal sound while working in China. They're saying that this has sparked con comparison to what I was just talking about, that alleged sonic attack that took place on U.S. diplomats in Cuba. Now, the U.S. State Department had issued this health warning to its citizens based in China outlining a mysterious case that they say that they can't solve at the moment. So they're saying that a government employee in China recently reported subtle and vague but abnormal sensations of sound and pressure. So they're saying it is not known what caused the symptoms experienced in this unnamed employee-based incident that took place outside of the United States. But there are multiple events that have happened now. So what we're seeing is government officials being targeted by some sort of technology, regardless. Now, at first glance, some could say, okay, they're, they're, they're hitting them with a beam or a weapon, and that's it. What if they're doing more? What if a super advanced type of technology is being deployed here? to where they are literally trying to tap into someone's consciousness or subconsciousness. What happens then? They're literally trying to tap into someone's mind and steal information. And in the process, it's doing some damage. Reading their minds, so to speak. This was talked about as soon as it was mentioned the very first time. They hushed it over, and I found, I found that extremely odd. Why would they do that? Well, to me, the U.S. would have this capability too. And if they're doing it to others, they're not going to come out and they're not going to state it. They're going to let it remain a mystery, but they're going to say, hey, something's going on. But they're just going to keep everybody in the dark. Now, that may not be the case, but I'm telling you right now, some government agency, some military apparatus out there is doing that. Without a doubt. This goes right along the lines of MK Ultra and everything else. So... What is the point in trying to hit any of these officials and give them a migraine or a headache, but you didn't kill them, you didn't gain anything from it, all you did was raise suspicion? You could have tested this on any other individual and got the same results without giving your hand away. So that's what makes me think there could be way more to this than what they're saying. I'll leave a link. I'm going to talk about this more this Friday night. Underground World News Live, Dabu, 7, 7, 9 p.m. Eastern. Hope to see you guys there. Peace.